Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Erin Meets World. My name's Erin and look what I got. I got my Hot Toys Infinity War Thanos, but that's actually not what I'm here to talk to you about right now. I will probably talk about this guy in an upcoming video, but what I am here to talk about is for new comic book readers that are fans of the MCU, what comics should you start with? And this episode is going to be focused on Thor. And the Thor story that I recommend starting with, if you're new to reading comics in general, is Thor God of Thunder by Jason Aaron. It's a multi-part series with multiple volumes that you can purchase on Amazon. But the reason why I think this is a good story for new readers to start with is it's not really dependent on any previous comic arcs. If you are reading other comics from around the same time frame, you might catch some little references like Thor does team up with Iron Man for a couple of pages of one of the issues. And because he's wearing a black Iron Man suit, then you can know that it ties in with a certain time period in the comics. But aside from a few small references like that, it's not really dependent on any previous knowledge. And what's cool about this particular story is you get to see multiple facets of the character Thor because you actually get to see Thor reacting to a threat that affects him in multiple time periods. So you get to see Thor during the current age when he's an Avenger. You get to see him thousands of years ago when he was still young and a lot more full of himself and how he looks at taking on threats. He isn't even yet worthy of his hammer yet in the young version. And then you also get to see kind of an old end of time-ish Thor that's more reminiscent of his father Odin as well. And as the story converges further on towards the end of the first arc, these three Thors end up actually coming in contact with each other. The story is based around a villain called the God Butcher, which it is kind of what it sounds like. This character is hunting gods. He hates gods and is trying to bring all gods of all different worlds out of existence. And so he is hunting Thor and Thor fends him off and eventually with no other gods left in existence in the far future Thor's version. Thor is forced up against this god butcher to take on this threat. And it's, it's much more complicated than that, but it's very inter interesting seeing these three different versions of Thor come against each other. The more noble modern Thor, the jaded older Thor, and the very full of himself younger Thor make for great contrasts of characters in this book. And again, since this isn't really dependent on any other characters and any previous knowledge, that's why I think this is a good Thor story for somebody that, who doesn't have any previous comics knowledge. And as well, it is a really good story. It pulls you along and you're going to keep wanting to keep reading from issue to issue until you get to the end. And it makes you care about the characters. It makes you care about the villain and makes you understand why the villain is doing what he is. And you get to see that he wasn't always a villain and what made him that way. If you like what I'm describing so far, you should check out the book. You can read the individual issues on the Marvel Unlimited app, or you can purchase it on Amazon in, I think, like six issue volumes or 12 issue volumes, and I'll have those linked below as affiliate links. 
Another word about affiliate links, I can make a little bit of money when you purchase something through an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any extra. And anything I make off of affiliate links, I put back into the channel to try to upgrade gear or get more stuff to review, more stuff to talk about, etc. So that's how that helps me out. It helps make the channel better. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a like. Please let me know in the comments and please subscribe. I do plan to be doing a lot more comics oriented content in the future and talk about some other comic book stories for other various characters that you should look into if you don't really have a lot of background comics knowledge when it comes to Marvel. And I might do some DC and some other stuff as well. But um, I'll probably end up talking about some like Captain America and Iron Man stories as well as other characters and groups of characters that you should look into if you're just starting out. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in that. And I have a lot more content coming up in the near future. All right. Thank you and have a good night.